good. We're I'm good. alive, people. We are alive <laughs> in oh. a very different place. <laughs> Josh is Josh is ha- Josh is home. At home. It's a very nice home you have. Over say home, here. I say house. Studio. Well, yeah, but home is more is more friendly. Isn't it? And I have a cable that's put in your left ear. <coughs> yeah, I hate I hate those Jimi Hendrix cables, but they're Twisty. they're a pain. Uh, so. Welcome back to the Optimize Podcast. We're optimizing for all the current music affairs and sharing it with you. Today we are in a very, very strange pa- place. How, 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 how has your week been, uh, Josh? My week has been. Oh, I always say good. I need to say something else. Yeah, you, you know, change up your vocabulary a bit. I don't have much vocabulary, but okay. Um, <laughs> my week has been extravagant. We <laughs> use. <laughs> Aight, bro. I'm going to judge, but, you know. Speak. My week has been... Excellent. Um, so, um, what have you been <laughs> doing this week, Josh? Not much. Not much? I play guitar. Over the past three weeks, we've... We we have had a lot of stuff. Well, oh, I have, because I've had hours of editing to do. You I, I, I will do editing. If you want me to do editing, I will do editing. Yeah, but... I don't know. It just takes a long time. It takes like two hours and stuff, and it's just a pain. Um, <clears throat> have you got the topics up on your computer? Topics? And you uh, I can get them up if you want me to get them up. Yeah, that'll be good, because I, I don't really want to go on my phone midway. <clears throat> but, yeah. <clears throat> so Josh has got a lovely little doing? Mac over here, and I didn't realise that your Mac is like sub-1000. It was about that when I bought it. Well, you. Um... It's 2017 i5, 8 gigs of RAM. Thank you for exposing my Mac. And it's good because somehow you can still edit for it. I mean, I can run Logic, I can run Spotify, and I can edit at the same time. It doesn't make sense. I don't know. And imagine you upgrade your RAM as well. You can just like... I'll be able to run... Run 1 million tabs at the same time. Yeah. Thing is, I have 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM, which is a lot slower, especially for the processor. Update failed. What do you mean there's no update to actually do? That normally means the Wi-Fi's dead. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, that's so, the end of the optimized podcast. <laughs> yeah, so I love being relaxed. Um, oh, so yeah. this podcast is just me and you chilling, chilling and stuff, and we're just talking. Um, we're not reacting to anything today because... Um, <sighs> click open original, it makes it bigger. Um, because I just... I don't think we want to. Yeah. Because uh, let's let's I want I want to relax, okay? I don't want to have tons of editing to do because over the past three weeks I've been grinding out these interviews, this editing. You know, we've been interviewing like how many people? We first it was Ashley, then your dad, then Josh Embling, then Ned, then Ned, Ned and then now next we have Seth Rosenbloom, which is I I asked him I was like oh um do you like you know do you want to send this. Because Josh Emblin, right, what he did was he recorded his Mac camera in OBS, but I don't think Seth knows how to do that. So we said, I'll just use the camera on my Mac. And I was like, I don't think he understands what I meant by I um, like, send me an the audio. The only reason you can use the camera on the Mac, like FaceTime, Skype, but you can't actually record from that camera. You've got to use OBS, which... But mm. Which I don't think he'll be happy yeah. to install a separate program. And I really, really, really can't be bothered to use OBS use and have phone, all the like, struggle. Did Ned Moss use his phone, didn't he? Yeah, but he recorded in portrait. Well. <laughs> I don't know, like, you know, <clears throat> Ned, if you're watching this, amazing, but I loved I loved interviewing him. Definitely. It was really fun. But, you know, it was on YouTube, not Instagram. Like, if it was Instagram, I, I think maybe if he thought it was on Instagram, I'd understand why he'd record in portrait, but it wasn't. <clears throat> we are also joined by John Mayer today. We've always been joined by John Mayer for every single podcast We're since like episode eight, maybe. He is John Mayer. Bro, am I even recording? That's that's the that's the that's the scary thing. Yeah, I am. Four minutes in. Right. Okay. So <laughs> let's do some sync claps. Four minutes in. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's not. Um. Wow. So I did the. I yeah, thing. I'm glad we can just. Re- yeah, no, I'm so okay. putting that in. I'm glad we can just relax for this one because it's been really stressful these past few. Drum. <laughs> the spring on my boom arm. Um, wow. uh, yeah, I love being relaxed uh, for the because of the past three weeks. Obviously, the interviews is just day in, day out. Day out. I don't um, know what, I don't know this today's uh, what? <laughs> no, a podcast that we just released. Um, for some reason, it's got more views on YouTube than 
Instagram. That, like, never happens. Like, yeah, we have 1,237 followers on Instagram at the moment. And normally, five minutes into releasing it, 20 people have liked, which is pretty pretty crazy. I, li- yeah. I do <laughs> I do like that. I do like releasing it and seeing the notifications come. Brrr. Well, no, that's the you stage I want to get morning, to. You've got like 300 notifications going. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, 38 views and seven likes on the YouTube video already for the first like five hours or whatever. And this is on 38 views and 20 likes. Oh. <laughs> well, bum. Well, I didn't think that through. <laughs> There's some weird things going on in our comment section. Is there? Yeah, like... All right, okay, let me explain this stuff to you. So, so you know the... So, we... There's a video of... Um, of Ra- Ralph Macchio. He's like... It's just, it's just a crossroads, the movie, essentially. Oh, okay. And it got 5,000 views, which is amazing. But it reached 9,741 people. And it got 820 likes. New record. It just crossed 800 likes. Well, across 800 likes a couple couple oh, yes. hours ago, but still 800 likes. That is a crap ton of people that loved. We don't have Deep Sea Blues today. Yeah, I don't know what. Oh, yeah, we do. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. Yeah, underneath number one. Yeah, no, but that. Well, we, we don't. No, we that, do, that's, we that's don't. the old one. I've got an updated one. <laughs> so you put uh, no, the old only one got on. the fact that we're talking so about. You open the old one. The views. And now I have to open No, the no, the, the new one isn't in the chat. I can't be bothered to put it in. So, it's fine. Everything's you on put there. Put the old one in. Everything's on there. So, yeah. What was I saying then? Um, Five thousand views. Um, <clears throat> that's a lot of people that <laughs> watched it. Like this is a new record again. Five thousand views. A bum mm. ton. The the record before was like two and a half thousand, and we just doubled that. Oh, I do love the Instagram algorithm sometimes. Yes. But 45, 46 comments. Oh my god. Is that um, a new record as well? Yeah, well, <laughs> a lot more people are commenting, which is good, but which also gets us in the algorithm. But someone started preaching God to us in the comment section, like you know, you know, Bible bashers. It was that, but digital. Oh, okay. They, they they like you know when you self promote, you just yeah. like you're like yeah, that's cool. Check out my page and stuff like that. Well, they kind of did that. They were like dope, haha. Jesus is in the is is the Son of God, by the way. Believe in his death and resurrection and repent from sin. The thing about that, people can believe. I don't want to go. No, no, go on, go. I don't want to get Josh done by. We have fifty subs. Happen. Go ahead. People, like, <clears throat> go on. I'm not saying don't follow God and all that. I, uh, I mean, fine. People follow God. That's great. I I respect that. <laughs> I, I this, this, boy really is, this boy is trying to. But, Make don't happy. get don't get me wrong. I, I that's fine. That's I'm perfectly. Josh, okay with it. go ahead. Yeah, okay, you don't right, have to. Okay, come on, right. they understand. <laughs> but people, this just they think everybody else should do what they're doing. Yeah, it's like a um. It becomes start. It becomes to be a little bit toxic, mm. in the way that they try and make everyone think the same thing as them. Which you know, I understand. You know, God is is the way that you abide by God and stuff. And you're like, you know, everyone. I think everyone should do the same because it's a great thing. However, not everyone is the same. You know, not everyone wants to abide by God. Like I'm an atheist, and I think you're an atheist as well. Um, I think, <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Well, I I don't know. Like I didn't know Tom was Jewish until like. A month ago. He's Tom, Jewish. Yeah, Tom I didn't know. I, I didn't know that. Well oh, done, Tom. Um, He's not a practicing Jew, though, so, yeah, but it, like, you know, <laughs> stop. We, <laughs> <laughs> we're not really good at talking stuff like this, are we? <laughs> we should cancel Christians. <laughs> not a joke. Um, but, we, you know, stop, please stop. Don't, just don't, okay? It was a movie clip, not a Bible, not a Bible What was clip. the comment again? It was, it was, they just said, oh, um, dope. Jesus is the son of God, by the way. Believe in his death and resurrection and repent from sin. Look, it's the top one by there. I, you know, I don't, I don't understand what, yeah, no, and I said, what, lol? I was just confused, because the, it's weird, right? Because that on the, was not a prayer, though. But. Yeah, sh- shut up, it's, 
Yeah, yeah it is. Carry on, move on. Right. But no, 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 no. And then in a recent post um, of Joe Bonamassa, two people commented GT. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know what I'm that confu- What does that mean? And then one was GT hashtag base or something. Base. I was re- I was just really confused because I don't... No, no, no. Someone tagged Optimize Podcast Productions. Great. <laughs> And they're not even following us, first of all. They're not even following Optimize Podcast Productions Instagram. And then, the weird thing about that is I said, why? And they replied to someone else's comments with saying thumbs up, saying sorry. So, like, was that meant for us? Or... Was it? It's just mind-boggling. Some people, like... I just just wish not everyone was a cripple on their phones. (laughs) Uh, oh dear me! Um, but yeah, Ned Moss music um, interview was so great. We're not monetized yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, someone commented GT, and then another GT hashtag bass music. What does it mean? No idea. But like, if I go on to hashtag bass music, it's just hashtag bass music. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, mu- there's no bass music. That's not a thing. Well, people play bass. And yeah. Play it to music. Yeah, play it to music. It's not its own genre though. Nah. Like guitar music, blues, no, it's not. pop. Oh, yeah. you, you could say guitar music would be blues and jazz, but like... <clears throat> yeah, what? <laughs> bass music, it's literally every genre because it bases in every genre. Oh, my neck kills. I need to sit up. It's in every single genre. Boom arm, that's good. Yeah, I know. My my boom arm's like... <laughs> wow. I love that boom arm. Um, but yeah, so it's a little bit mind-boggling to me, but... Um, why do we get 5,000 views? That's, that's my thing. I'm just confused as hell. Like, who in the right mind mm. at Instagram Incorporated was like, you know what, I'm going to give these guys 5,000 views. I mean, I actually, I do understand why, because we worked extremely hard on this, doing stuff day in, day out. Can you stop far? <laughs> Bloody hell. Good, love a good boom on we do. I hate that, bro. Um, but yeah, Instagram Incorporated is weird as hell, bro. I dig that microphone, okay? <laughs> I dig that microphone as well. <laughs> I, I don't think you do, Josh. This is a nice microphone, to be fair. Like, my microphone is good, but yours is, is different. It's just... It's- it's just something special, okay? The Shure SM7B is a one in a like. I mean, that's where they. That's where mic. they really did it right. I'm never gonna need another mic to do that sort of stuff again. Like, yeah, tell me that when. Top. Tell me that when you have eight hundred pounds and you're like, I want to buy a Newman, th- uh, N- New Neumann one million. It's like a three and a half grand microphone. Yeah. What was eight hundred quid? <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> I did not think that through. Okay, I'm gonna get a three thousand pound microphone with eight hundred quid. Yeah, that's a really bad idea. Uh, you just go into debt. Um, also, the road, debt. the road boom arm is like it's so movable. Mo- movable is that a word? Yeah, it doesn't have movable. springs and it doesn't. It does, but this squeak. it doesn't it doesn't squeak, which is it can move good. like anywhere. <clears throat> I mean, you get the clamp and then you just go like that. That doesn't. Do you not have like a little screw thing to screw to the desk? No, it just goes in and it just locks in place and you can twist it wherever you want. Wait, so it's just on top and nothing underneath? Yeah, there's a clamp. That's what I just said. Oh, I thought you said like something in in there. Well then, that's the end of my <laughs> well, well, thanks for watching this optimized pod. No, we're at 15 minutes, so we just need to we just need to waffle until about half an hour and that should be alright. Um. Wow, we this is a waffling. nice wall you have here. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you. No, um, um, all seriousness, though, we are in Josh's house and there's... Not a lot of room. Uh, well, yeah, is, but we need to do this in my house, but... You have a bigger desk. Yeah, just bring your Mac over, Lamar. Yeah, I mean, that's going to go down well. <laughs> yeah, no, imagine, imagine, because you're not, you're not really allowed to bring expensive stuff over he's like can i bring the oh you know you bought a macbook pro so you can take it at places can i take the macbook pro to school or my hat or theo's house no No, it'll break like yeah the air will touch it and it will disintegrate (laughs) (laughs) 
haven't used that word in a while. Disintegrate. 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 I used to be really good in my words as a kid. What did that mean? <laughs> like, I used to have... Because my mum would really help me and uh, say some stuff like precipitation. Precipitation. I was in year three saying precipitation. That's actually quite impressive. And um, scorching. Scorching hot. That's also it was impressive. a scorching hot day. But in then the, in the next hour, there was precipitation. Like, somehow I just managed to... In year three, I was probably saying something like John Mayer, you know. <laughs> oh, dear me. It's weird. I've only got into John Mayer in, like, year seven, I think it was. Was it? You're seven or you're eight. I met you and that was like... <laughs> what? I don't know. Was it year seven? Uh, the bit massive jump? I think... Was? I think... When did I meet you? Year eight. I was in year eight. You were in year seven. Because I remember my mum going, oh, we're going to meet um yeah. my friend and his sons in year seven. And then we went to Jump Jam. <laughs> jump Jam. Mm. Music podcast, Jump Jam. <laughs> yeah, should we actually do a podcast in Jump Jam? It is so hot in here. Can we open the window? The windows are open. What? Oh, yeah, there's a car. Block your mic. It's too late. Bum. Oh, my God. This is so weird. You can hear the headphones, like, through... Oh, yeah. Shush. Quality entertainment. Quality entertainment. <sighs> I told you. That Josh was just like, oh, you know, we should we should just um go on. We never talk, like... We n- it's always been scripted. Ish. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I know scripted is provides for better content, but you know, I still feel like that it's it's good every now and then just to stop and have Sorry. a chill, especially for episode twenty. Episode twenty is called "It's Time to Chill." That's what I think we should call it. So, um, Stratocasters. Oh yeah. What do you think of them? <laughs> what do I think of them? Um, honestly. I do love a good strat. I do love a good strat. But the <laughs> the bright like the way it sounds a, so a stratocaster to me doesn't sound like to me doesn't sound like the default guitar. So <laughs> so the default guitar to me sounds like so the strat is very like Nice, no, I, I agree. It's like <laughs> no. a duck. No, it's very quacky. Well, you can make it sound. I mean, my one, because of the wood. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, the wood. Is it's, it, Josh? It's darker than some other, because it's made of mahogany. The colour. The colour makes yeah. it makes it sound different. The density of the air. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a literally the right. exact same as saying, no one's real. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> no. It vibrates in the wood. It's going to be real. Doesn't it just go through the pickups. It, has to it, would, yeah, but it does though. Yeah, but the pickups are in the wood. Uh, yeah, no, but the string vibrates over the pickups, and the pickups pick up that magnetic yeah, but it's so vibration. The, you can't pick up the wood because that doesn't that doesn't pick up in the pickups because it's not magnetic. No one's going to change your mind, are they? <laughs> no one's going to change my mind until John Mayer comes on and tells me Tone Wood's real, because you definitely think Tone Wood's real. He's like John Mayer's, like I think the wood. I think he's the most, you know, oh, I think, I think, t- you know, you. we have two other topics. Are they for the end? Yeah. You know what I mean by, um, so like Tomewood, yeah. So Tomewood is obviously a, um, a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> Tomewood is obviously a real thing. Well, Cold. no, 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 it's not a real thing. No, I just contradicted myself. Essentially, um. Obviously a real thing. What I mean is where. The type of person which thinks, oh, you know, I don't like, um, I think heavy gauge string sounds better. Well, they do. And I On think, and I think the mahogany sounds better. And I think that warm weather makes my tone better. Like it just doesn't. It does. But Strings I feel difference. like John Mayer is the, is the worst case of that person where he just, it's just like random theories, which anyone like, you know what I mean though? Like I'm not I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but what I'm saying is like he's the he's the like the he's the worst person to go to if I'm trying to say Tomewood isn't real because he'd just be like oh yeah Tomewood's real and give me ninety reasons why and then John he, yeah well I'd obviously accept well, that and just become his. You, what about the string thickness? Do you think that affects it? Yeah, I do because that is the string and that goes into the I pickups. Mean, yeah, I've got nines on my Gretsch on the PRS and I've got tens on my Strat. But even though a Strat, my Strat sounds better. It does. 
Oh, we're going to have a jam later, aren't we? Pizza and jam. Pizza it's, and jam, It's yes. going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, just get pizza all over your new strings. I need new strings. Oh, my God, bro. Me my too. strings are nine I've got, months old. I've got a pack of hybrid slinkies. Can I have them? I'm going to move up to 10 gauge because I nine gauge is just too little for me. I've noticed that when I go to bend the string or do vibrato, my finger just like, lets go because the string is so thin. Yeah, what I'll do, like, you know my Gretchen stuff, they're kind of like, I wouldn't put 10s on them because they kind of suit the 9s. I'll probably, I'll go special mode and go to 9.5. Yeah. Do you feel like that higher gauge strings increases the output? I think it does. Yeah, it makes it more bassy and stuff. Like that, yeah, that's now. exactly what I mean. Oh, my phone just vibrated. Who just texted me? Tom. It's, yours. it's Tom, again. He Tom, always texts again. me in a podcast, never texts me all day, and then the minute I go to a podcast, he's like, <laughs> hello? Brilliant. Um, yeah, no, I think that st- strings, like, I want to go to 10 gauge because mainly for the feel so and you how you can, you can, I want to be able to hard strike an E string you know, without it having to go gauge. boom and go incredibly out of tune. And also I want more tune and stability. And also I want to build my fingers up because I can I can bend and do vibrato on nine strings for days. Like I I can always like I can bend it's just nine strings well, is just too easy to nine play. I, I, I've always been nine bent, strings, I've nine gauge, sorry. Okay. I've always played ten. Like yeah, no, I know, but it doesn't matter. Like, playing higher gauge strings... Yeah. The thing is, right, people think that playing higher gauge strings means that you are a more masculine person or something like that. You know? Like, yeah. I'm going to play 10 gauge because <clears throat> my hands are huge. <clears throat> Evan, whoa. Yeah, Evan, he has tiny hands and he plays 12 gauge. Whoa. No, I have massive hands and saying. I play 9 gauge. And I think 10 gauge would be more suited to me. Maybe when I'm older, go to 11 gauge at some point, which would be a, wow. a problem, but that's going to be like Ted's years when I've got like sense of strength. But I feel like your hands, because they're they're smaller than mine, and most and because they're smaller, they would have less muscle. Nine gauges would suit you better, or a lighter gauge than me, essentially. Yeah, but I like tens. <laughs> I know, I know you like tens, but no, see, that's the thing, right? That's another thing. No, which, tens suit me. That's why I use them. That's that's another thing which I wanted to come to. Um... So, the thing is, is you like the heavier gauge strings, right? Yes. So, you would play, like, all the Stevie, Ro- Stevie Ray Vaughan stuff with, like, the um, double stops and Jimi Hendrix. John just Mayer. John Mayer all the way, yeah? And John Mayer doesn't require much much bends, like, far bends, or fast playing. So, that means that you can play a higher gauge string because you your fingers don't actually need to play it. You know what I mean? So your fingers mm. don't actually need to play. So my style, your you can go for a higher gauge because your fingers don't need to play my style. Because if if you if you try to play my style on higher gauge, it would be very very hard because you need to play fast and stuff. And nine gauge is just easier to play fast. So that's the, that's why you could an incredible like really fast vibrato and stuff and crazy bends and vibrato with that. You would struggle to do that on probably 10 gauges at the moment because there's tons of tension. But if you were on nine gauges and obviously you'd obviously build. (laughs) Yeah, no, but but if you built up the finger strength to do all those pentatonics and stuff, you would be able to do it on nine gauges easier. But it's like the same with me, but obviously because hand difference is the same, but with 11. So 11s, I could play all that Steve Ray Vaughan stuff, all that John Mayer stuff, but I couldn't play Joe Wanamassa and Eric Johnson stuff because it's obviously the string and more tension. And, and So I'd you, go to 10 if gauge you for that. Up your fingers on 10 gauges. Yeah, and then I'd move up to 11s eventually. At the beginning. <laughs> no. Hmm? Nines suit you, so. Do they? No, they? definitely not. You think 10s? They're too small. I. I play tens before, and the nine gauges is just look at the size of my hand, Josh. Yeah, there's no way that nine gauges like I've fat ass fingers, like really. My fingers. Look at my thumb, like let's compare thumbs. Like, (laughs) I have humongous fingers. My dad is also the same. He has massive hands. He's like shovel hands, and it's like I just just need bigger strings. It doesn't mean I'm any more like better or or more masculine or whatever it's just hand sizes so we don't you know don't don't hand don't string gauge discriminate 
God, we were. I'm so sweaty, bro. It's very warm. We are educating people day by day in on the music on the Optimized podcast. Um, what do you think about pedals? That's like the most. What? <laughs> <laughs> do you like pedals? <laughs> no, no, I don't. I hate them. They provide nothing to the tone. Get out of this house. <laughs> no, I I do Joke. like I do like Obviously. a good pedal, but only a few. I wouldn't like to go through. Um, you like guitar s- amp, not guitar pedals amp. <laughs> oh no, I'm good. I'm guitar straight into amp. I can't. I can't plug into pedal. Well, I could. Can I have all your pedals? Yeah, that's the thing. I was thinking of selling it so I could have. So what? Oh yeah. So let's talk about um plans. So by saying there, what I mean. So next year. Um, if this podcast goes well and we don't give up on it, and I'm not giving up on it, you might be like, <laughs> I'm well, not doing that. Eight, so Come on, we we got to stay, we yeah, got to yeah, stay yeah, committed. But so next year we would like to get a Roadcaster Pro because that would make all of our lives I mean, easier. Don't have that, to do any vocal that, processing, that. and we can do it wherever we like because do straight off battery power. Actually, no, because we couldn't, because we need to plug into a computer oh, for yeah. the roadcast. But it doesn't electricity. matter, because I can just use my laptop or whatever. I forgot Actually, no, we I'm needed electricity. <laughs> I'm selling my laptop. Um, anyway, Roadcaster Pro, it does all the vocal processing, and we can hear each other, as well as sound effects. So that's really cool. And we would have to split that, because it's about... Oh, bring up the specs on the um, computer. Oh, so the Roadcaster Pro, um, if you want to go down, um, yeah. So sound like a million dollars. Another thing, I don't think that's how it works. Keep going. Is it gonna tell us the price or? I can tell. I can get you the price. Okay, so it's about four hundred and seventy-nine pounds. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you the website because they'll have to pay us money otherwise. Um, so let me read some of the specs. So can you zoom in at all? Because I can't... Well, I no, can't see. Mac, okay, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, that's good. That. Right, go up. It doesn't really help it much, but I can read it. So, stop moving so I can see it. Spe- specially developed for podcasts. Yeah, four XLR yeah. microphone inputs with a phantom power, which is brilliant because we can have guests on. Eight programmable... Program- nice. Oh, yeah. Pro- programmable <laughs> sound pads for jingles and effects and whatever. Instant mix minus for... Ver- yeah, so we can we can take phone calls if we wanted to. Bluetooth um, on there as well. High resolution touchscreen. 4K, I'd hope. No, I'm Better be. For that sod in price, I'd hope so. 16K. 16K, yeah. Four head... I don't even think they've come out with... Should we invent 16K? I think 8K is the most at the moment. Let's invent 16K. Let's invent 16K. 16K, here we come. Whoa. Four headphone outputs and stereo uh, speaker outputs. Record directly to micro SD, which is what we will be doing. Wait a minute. Is it battery powered? Because if it's battery powered, that'd be great. Because you don't need a computer. No. I think it is. I think you can. I think it is battery powered. Because if there's a choice for an no, SD card, I've looked at videos and stuff. And right, like, no, look at the ports. Look at the ports. I don't think there's a room to charge it. Uh, there's. <sighs> Damn it. An input. That's annoying. And that's the on button, but obviously. The hell did you just do? Essentially, it would make everything a lot easier and we could have some cool sound effects and everything. So we would have to split it. So it was about 500 quid, so we'd split it 250, 250. There you go, that's a power cable Oh, you could just plug it into a wall. You don't need a computer. No. Yeah, what do you think? brilliant. I thought you had to plug it into, like, the focus right. No, that is technically everything in one. That's a focus right. Oh, well, that's that's much easier then. Yeah. Because either way, because at the moment, if we don't have, if we took, got like the Zoom H6 or something, which is like a handheld battery recorder, battery recorder, battery um, handheld recorder, we could do everything off battery power. Mm. So that lasts for about two hours, two, three hours, and the GoPros last for about an hour or whatever. So we could do the entire thing off battery, but I wouldn't want to, because especially if we're at my house, we could just do the Roadcaster. Yeah. So yeah, 250, 250 both. Um, I would probably sell all my pedals so I can have money for it. Uh, loop station goes for about 100. I do need... Compressor. Because uh-huh. I don't use... The thing is, right, is I I want to use like a Helix type thing. So I want to use an all-in-one. You I know your hum, harmonic thing? What's it called? The seven up thing? Yeah. What it's octave it? pedal. You can go down an octave uh, or I, two octaves. I need, I need an octave pedal. 
I'd sell it for you. How mm-hmm. much? How much do they go for now? I'd, I'd seven give ups. You... There's some on eBay for about thirty quid. Yeah, but they'd be broke. <laughs> no, I want to spot. Stop trying to good. scam me, okay? It's not going to be I'm thirty saying, quid. It's, it's not going to be hundred and twenty. <laughs> oh, okay. So it goes seventy-five pound new. So I'd give it to you for about forty, probably. That's all right. Something like that. Forty plus a loop station goes for about a hundred. I don't need another loop station. <laughs> no. And the thing is, then is I can just get the HX effects because that's just all the pedals in one. Yeah, but I'm an analog person. <laughs> yeah, it just effects. But yeah, um, and that's like yeah, compressor pedal goes for about like twenty. Kemper have come out with like a. Uh, yeah, but Kemper's like over a grand. Yeah, I know, but they've come out with like a Line Six type thing. Oh yeah, no, the Helix is still better though because yeah. Line Six have been doing it for years. The Kemper, like, it, I, I don't know what to think about. I the, want a Kemper, but I don't want a Kemper. It's called like a Kemper Stage or something. Kemper, yeah, it is. I think yeah. I don't know, but yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, Roadcaster Pro would be good. Uh, we'd obviously be in the same house, so the two camera angles would be would be cool, like we're doing now. Well, if it's working. <laughs> if it, yeah, if it, if the camera's even. So I'm literally in the wall, but you know. <laughs> Who cares? We're, we're good at this. <laughs> yeah, we are really good Quality at this. Quality entertainment. Good. Quality entertainment. <laughs> You've got your big shirt on, haven't you? I know. Big shirt. John Mayer tour. Oh yes. So glad I went to that before. I I so glad he told last year. Yeah. Oh yeah. Not this year because that would have been like one. Yeah. It would have been cancelled. You know like Joe Massa's uh, concert got cancelled. I'm so depressed about that. I really want to go see him. He's like my dad. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. He's not my. You got to be careful. <laughs> yeah, like stuff we say in 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 private, we we joke about that, no, but we can't we say that online. So t- okay. Pardon? You've just said we said it in private. <laughs> well, that's the end. <laughs> well, goodbye. I'll see you for the next one. Right. Um. Oh, oh Lake. Same claps. Um, I've been watching a new podcast um, and listening. It's called The Fro Show. You know, when I first heard the name The Fro Show, you would expect it's something to do with, like, afros. Can't click. How? <laughs> you would think it'd be something to do with um, afros, well, but just, it's not. It's someone click. called Frank and someone called Joe. Really, the Fro Show, really original. I love them. They got a Roadcaster Pro when they have fifty subs. We should say that, you know, be like, what Mum, we got, Mum. I know that, you know, I know that My we only have fifty. Me a microphone. How is she gonna say I only, yes? To I know we only quick. have fifty subs, but these guys only have forty subs, and they have a Roadcaster Pro. Can we have a Roadcaster Pro? It, say, say you want a bike, and then yeah, because that's what Josh said. Josh did. He was like, I need a bike to cycle. He's just like, okay. And then he's like, actually, instead of having a bike, I'll, I'll be fine with my bike, but can I have a microphone? Somehow that worked. So yeah. we should just be like, oh, um, can I have a house for um, for college? And be like, yeah, sure. And then you have like a couple thousand million pounds. And then you'd be like, oh, yeah, can I just buy a studio? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Stratocaster. Oh, yeah, of course you can. Can I have a silver scone? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, that's exactly what I mean. You could just be like, oh, can I have a MacBook Pro for school and stuff? Oh, actually, can I have a Silver Sky instead? The thing is, I'd rather... I had the option to buy an amp or my mum paying half of a MacBook and I bought an amp. What? Josh, come on. You really missed out on the opportunity. I didn't really have an option. Like but that wasn't when the podcast was a thing, though, so no, you wouldn't I have known. I need it. Now I really do need it. Just sell the Blues June. The Blues June is broke anyway. I can, I'm getting it fixed. But the Vox is You said that six months again. ago. The Vox reverb is amazing. It's so nice. Like, it's just like... Nice. Give it... I'm just going to pull my headphones off. Give it to me. Send me your house. Send me your house, yeah. <sighs> We've got another interview, haven't we? Yeah, we have, a, we have another interview. Um, first of all, Seth Rosenblum. Um, uh, 40,000 followers on Instagram. Wow. Really? Like- yeah. Thing is, like, I messaged... It's a bit weird. I said... I said, um, awesome, what camera is it that you will have, that you have? And he said, also, let's just go on Skype, I'll give you the link. And he said, just the webcam on a Mac. I said, awesome, so send us over the, because I didn't know how to do, how he was going to do that. But I said, awesome, so send us over the video file of your camera recording at this email. I gave him my email. He said, it will be a big file, but that's expected for the length. And then he left us on scene, and I said, 
watch Yours is on scene. Yeah, no, it's just I understand why. And then I said, watch the live stream last night, mate. You got some killer chops. And then he said, thanks. So the fact that he replied to that is a little bit weird. Oh, yes. But, you know, if he's watching this, you're a class player. My camera's there. You're, you're a class... You're a class player. Oh, my head, bro. This light is so bright. Mine's on three. Yours is on, like, ten. Does yours go any brighter? Yeah, mine goes to, like, ten. Mine goes to, like, as bright as one. I'm, like, I'm not going to test it. Cause I'm, I'm going to change myself. the light, yeah, because it'll be annoying to edit. <laughs> but, yeah, so it essentially it's... Um, bang in. And then bang. another interview we have who's a... Um, t- this guy is a he's a, he's a big shot, Sean Ashby. Um, so Josh, would like to explain who he is and who he's worked with? So he is obviously a guitar player. Obviously, a very, none, none, very good guitar player. None other. Um, he's worked with Sarah McLaughlin. If you, I don't know if you know Sarah McLaughlin. Yeah, let's see how many monthly streams she has on Spotify. Um, we always look at numbers on social media to see if they're. Uh, he's performed at the Grammys. Um. Tonight's show was Jay Leno. We're giving lots of plugs here. 2.8 million monthly listeners. Wow. Um, Saturday Night Live, all those Conan O'Brien show, everything in America. Big up to your uh, dad for getting, this, getting us this gig. Yes. We need to get some good questions. He plays a lot of Gretsch guitars, which is great. Um, <laughs> Does he? Yeah, he's a big Gretsch person. Oh, you can just like... Tri- um, Wait, is he going to be coming down here? We're going to do him over Skype. Skype. Oh, he's in America. I want to get more people. He's in like, America, you can't really get down there. I don't care. We'll fly him over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna pay how much money for? It's like five hundred quid for a flight. No, it's not. Okay, that's a yeah. Joke. On economy. On economy. Fly on economy. Yeah, it's like t- two hundred quid then probably. It's expensive to go out of Europe now. I know, especially. Because of this thing that's going on, which we can't mention. <sighs> Corona. So we yes, just got demonetized. Stay tuned for that. Was well, that it? You're not going to explain his age or anything. How old is he? I don't know. You d- doesn't say. <laughs> it doesn't say. I can, I can don't tell him we're reading off a website. We're not <laughs> reading it off a website. Yeah. Well, he is. Um. It doesn't say his birthday. Exactly. Wow. Okay. Um. Well, he's he's a big shot essentially. Let's actually look up how how much um. How much streams he oh, has maybe. on um, instead of Sarah McLachlan or whatever. Oh. Sean Ashby. Artist. Wait, can you go look at his songs? Can you find him on Spotify, actually? Because I've got this here. He's got 51 monthly listeners. Oh, he's a singer. Wait, what? No, he's a guitar. Oh, but can you click on his Spotify? Available on Spotify. Can you click on that? I will now. Give me a minute. Yeah, so we he's can actually see him. I may have to log in. No, you don't. 51 monthly listeners. It was the right one. Wow. That's his own stuff, I think. And then he works with Sir McCock and stuff like that. Which gets obviously crazy millions of streams. Hopefully, we can <laughs> imagine he just pro- promotes on Sarah McLaughlin's Instagram. Like, how many follow? Like, because you, you could imagine how many subs we'd get then. Mm. That'd be pretty crazy. Sarah, this cable's really annoying. Bruh, she's not even McLaughlin. I can't describe how annoying I, this cable is. Sarah Mama Clacklin. I just spelled that, that incredibly wrong. <laughs> oh, bro, I can't be <sighs> Is that it? That's all of the topics. That's it. And we're up to about 40 minutes. It's pretty good. Let's talk a bit more, shall we? Let's talk a bit more. Let's talk a bit more. So, give me a microphone. No. Give me... G- give content! Me. <laughs> <laughs> Quality so, content. So we're joined by John over oh, here. He said Don't touch him. Whoa. He's actually not even that big. Like, I'm going to stand up next to him. He's not even that big. Legs reveal. I'm nearly his height. Look, see? Mm-hmm. Got a little bit, little bit to go. <laughs> just just, just a, a little bit. We're not going to embarrass me now, so um, <laughs> sit down. You just go next to him and it's just like... 
I'm about, I'm about. Uh, <laughs> are you like, no, you're not. No, you're, you're taller. You're taller than you are, like, standing up now. You No, you'd be taller Whoa. standing up than sitting down. Really? You well, you just said you're about there, and you're taller than that when you're sitting down. I'm taller than I'm standing up. Josh, come on. <laughs> you're like five two or something. It's five Probably three. actually quite. Uh, no, accurate. I think you're taller than that. I'm like five eight, so you're gonna be like at least five, five four. Three I think my two, girlfriend's five, like an one. inch taller than you, and she's like five six, so you're gonna be like five. I five hate these cables. I know the Jimi Hendrix cables. I don't know why anyone would buy them. The strange thing is, is the stretchiness is pointless if it retracts back. Yeah, look. It's like... It pulls my right ear off. And it would just pull... It would just pull the plug out of the guitar. That's why it's got a locking system, I think, yeah. Yeah, until it makes the cable crackle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we get my um, Les Paul? Yeah, he's actually got a banging Les Paul. His little toy. Oh, yeah. For everyone listening on Spotify, he's got a... Let's Nine inch long. Guess what? Slow dancing. How, How did, did know? I know he was going to be playing slow dancing? Everyone, who would have knew? Who would? Who guess? Me. What are you doing? Give me, give me the Les Paul. Give me the Les Paul. Don't, don't oh, break can it. I play it's the Les Paul? Can I play like your dad's one? Maybe. Like oh, you said it. So you said I could last time. Yeah, but. Shh. <laughs> Coronavirus, and I, even though I'm in your house and I'm eating food here. Whoa. We're bubbling. Brother, pick by up the selector way, so doesn't okay. work. Yeah, we're brothers, by the way, so we're not. Illegal. I said bubbling, but okay, we can be brothers if you want to be brothers. I was going to say we're, we're brothers, by the way, so we're not illegal, but yeah. Bro. <laughs> Let's play an F sharp minor seven chord. F sharp, F chord. Let's do. um. Boom, boom, Quality boom. entertainment as well. Oh, this is stupid now. Okay, I just I'm just trying to get the fifth to the 15 minute mark so we can have mid roll ads. Let's get um. Let's this get video this is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is the only and Don't best way plug, no. to make a website. I'll be sending them an invoice. Don't worry. Should I tune it? Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for listening to this week's podcast. I just wanted to do episode 20 as a relaxing one because I... Is this uh, episode 20? Yeah, it is, actually, yeah. I don't know why I look on my watch. I haven't got it. Um, Thanks all for listening to this one. Uh, this is more of a relaxing one, but we will be getting back into the interviews next week on Monday. I think we have Seth Rose and Bloom. Yes. Wait, do we? 20th. Have we got 20th? And it's the 13th today. So I think that's actually on the Thursday... Let me check my... Let me check the diary. Yeah, yeah, no, it's on Thursday, Thursday 20th of all. So the Seth Rosen interview will be out Sunday 23rd. I'm going to pick up my GCSE results on Thursday. Really? Yeah, for English. That's going to be fun. I didn't do anything early. Because <laughs> I, I don't... No, we didn't do anything early. I just... I've got GCSEs to do this year. Uh, it, we, we were meant to do RE, but... I like, don't have no. school, right. Um, <laughs> no. Um, yeah, RE. so that's it. And then we have... Did you choose RE? <laughs> no, trust me. You thought... You think I'd choose RE? Oh God, Bro, we were now. talking about... Stop Bible bashing on our Instagram. You think I'd choose RE? <laughs> yeah, we had the option to choose it or not to choose it. <laughs> Spoiled kids, you are. <laughs> um, yeah, so... What was I just saying? Um, when yeah. should we do the Sean Ashby interview? Should we this I Monday? Know, we'll have to get a date. I need a date off you and then my dad can text him. Do you want to do this Monday? This Monday? Yeah. I'll see. I'll, I'll tell him. We'll sort it out. I would soon. prefer to do it on a Thursday, though. Main reason is because I have more time to edit, so then I can take my we'll time. We'll sort it out. I'll sort it out after now. As well as I have a guitar lesson on Monday, so I wouldn't really want to be actually. late. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, because I was late to the last one. I don't yeah. want to be late for Sean Ashby, you know. Yeah, anyway, yeah. thanks everyone for listening yes. and watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next uh, podcast. Uh, push, oh, yeah. push, for, pu- push for positivity. Push for positivity. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Josh. Good- goodbye. Say goodbye to you. Goodbye. <laughs>